93.5 Red FM Rocking listeners I'm Meepa And I'm so happy To be back again With another episode Of Red Indie Shuffle Northeast Edit You all know that This is where we celebrate Independent artists And their music And joining us In today's episode Is none other than Samantha and Tubby So good to see you both And thank you so much For being a part of the show Just tell us about yourself I'm a keyboardist I'm a pianist And yeah I started my journey In uh, 1990 And uh, it's been over 30 years now I've been doing film music And it's it is uh, about uh, Say about 3 or 4 years back I started doing my independent music Where I released a Jazz Funk uh, Fusion album It's called Funked Up and uh, I got I got chance to work with a lot of my musician friends. So so yeah, that was a very very uh, uh, very exciting moment for me because you know all the, uh, some of my mentors are also playing on that album and uh, and very dear friends like Shankar Mahadevan and mentor like Uncle Louis and all these big guys are playing on that album. And yeah, so and slowly slowly I started composing you know independent like uh, pop music or you know pop songs and R&B songs and a couple of Hindi songs also I've, I've released. I started singing professionally when I was about 14. Uh, so yeah, I've also completed over 30 years in the industry. Uh, been doing, I think started out doing film work, jingles, um, a lot of live gigs, playing with I think uh, some of the loveliest and the greatest musicians that we have here in the city as well as all over the world. Um, I did start recording uh, original stuff as well, uh, I want to say five years ago and finally released my own music last week, last year. So we both have also been releasing. Uh, really fortunate to have Tabi um, uh, us kind of join hands to make some music together, some crazy stuff together. We've been having a good time. And uh, the loveliest thing is a bit great common ground over there because we kind of get the uh, each other's vibe. So that's really nice. Uh, I'm happy to have uh, Gino Banks and um, Carl Peters, uh, Anurag Naidu, a lot of them who played on my music as well. Um, so I, I continue to be in the live circuit as well as the recording circuit, but I also have been a vocal coach for the last uh, 16 years. So I spend a great deal of my time teaching not just little children, but also celebrity kids, uh, celebrities as well. So I am sometimes on tour with them from a Priyanka Chopra to a Farhan Akhtar, uh, Hrithik Roshan as well, uh, Ananya Birla. So um, I've spent a great deal of time, not only, um, I think we're constantly working on our craft. And apart from music, do you have any interest in hobbies? Oh, <laughs> I love cooking. <laughs> yeah, I think it pretty oh, much She's so. a fabulous cook. She's a fabulous <laughs> What about Tubby? Is there anything apart from music? that interests you? I also like to cook but I'm not as as great cook as Samantha. I do cook a lot of Indian stuff at home and you know sometimes biryani, sometimes some, some mutton dish or some chicken dish or some vegetarian also and uh, lately like uh, around 4-5 years back I started riding so I, 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 I have this uh, lovely motorbike and I uh, there are a bunch of friends we kind of go for long rides and uh, yeah we went to Kerala we went to Pondicherry so riding has become like my new hobby which I'm really enjoying it Samantha you've been, you said you've been into music since the age of 14 and so far now I mean I'm sure you must have released a lot of materials uh, would you like to tell us what materials have you released in all these years well, I think it's been a mix. I've worked with uh, Zakir, Zakir Bai on three films. So everybody says I'm fine, Mr. and Mrs. Iyer, um, for real. So I've worked on lots of those films. In fact, all, almost the whole soundtrack probably has me on them. Uh, I think you would probably remember the very famous ad Nescafe that came out years ago. 
that has me singing on it so i did a lot of jingle work um wow. uh, i started releasing my own songs in uh, october last year so i have seven songs released uh, one was a christmas song the others are pretty much been stuff that i've written and composed myself um so it's been really interesting i mean i feature on coke studio with ram sampat in i think there was season 3 if i'm not mistaken so i think it's been a mixture of so many things we've been writing a lot of music now uh, uh happy to write lyrics even for some of tabi songs uh for other people uh increase encouraging younger kids to write their own music and release it i started off as a musician with uh, people uh, like i used to i used to be a session musician for lakshmi ga kerala and uh, adi barman and stuff like that and uh, because because you know I, and i'm third generation in music so my grandfather my father we been in the industry and hindi film was our main main kind of we grew up listening to hindi songs and stuff like that Yeah. and uh, yeah as as a musician as a session musician you always kind of progress from from being a musician to a, an arranger so let's speak about your most memorable musical moment ever since there's so much to speak about maybe you could throw back to one best or two best what really really took took it to another level for me was the first time i had a student concert okay your own students Yes, my own students to actually see them out like lots of them who would come to us and um you know couldn't probably sing a note and with months of working with them to see how they you know like you they they like you get rough cut and then you polish them and you see that diamond they actually mm-hmm. see them go out on that stage it's like me I always say like a mama with her proud babies you know <laughs> like launching them i think that for me has um, i think have has given me a lot of fulfillment just knowing that we're able to share and hone and really develop a skill and a talent in in the in the future in kids of today and we see a lot of them who are out there putting their music and i think yeah we've done something right you know all right then uh, now let's speak about the songs you've created together both of you Samantha and Tabi there are a couple of songs lined up together and uh, uh, i can feel you is my one of my favorite songs but there's another song called glow which is going to be coming very soon okay. it, it, like uh, like uh, it's a it's a completely different avatar of uh, you know sap in that song because uh, okay. and she's such an incredible singer you you yeah you put any kind of melody in front of her and and like she just gives life to that composition glow for me was really Uh, a really cool thing to do because when Tubby called and uh, said, "Will you write lyrics for a song?" Uh, I said, "Sure," but I didn't. I hadn't even heard the song. When I heard the song, it was like, "Oh my gosh!" I really want to write lyrics on it. And I actually told him, "I said, I'm so I I feel honored that you trusted me with this track." And so I felt it was only fitting that we gave it. Um, the glow that it requires and that's why i wrote the song about literally being the glow that you know shines the lights up the dark so congratulations on release on i can feel you to both of you and how does it feel i think new releases are always exciting always always <laughs> always it's like as i said new babies out in the world you know yeah. it's like that <laughs> it's always that because you know you're waiting for people to express you know like you you obviously you're nervous Yes. But yeah. but yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's it's there. You know, one more is out over there. One more bit of our, of your art is out there. So I think it's a good thing. So now we would like to know all about it. I mean, what made you write the song? And for Tabi, I mean, at first because the composition happened, right? So yes. what made you compose this music and everything about it? How did you go about it? And how's it? Yeah. Out? So so well, uh, you know, first I wrote wrote the song, and I always have this thing of you know writing either the groove. or maybe just fiddling over a piano and some some maybe the chord progression or something is past me or maybe a a bass line is past me and i start writing writing melody on top and that's how i i progressed into so i actually came with the uh, with the main hook line the chorus part of the song first and so i did had i i did had verse for the song i just had the chorus and i mean i've been sitting on it and i've been writing thinking over it 
and finally with my dida la 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 and i i came up with a full verse and a chorus and i i put it all together so you know my my team started looking out for lyrics uh, lyricist and uh, that's how on social media we came across to uh, jennifer adin and uh, she she's a she's a lyricist from nashville and uh, she's written some uh, quite a lot of hits in country western music and uh, blake shelton uh, is uh, blake shelton's one of the big blake shelton song is written by jennifer and it's uh, it's been playing for almost over uh, six weeks now and it's a big hit and uh, yeah and she's a fabulous writer and uh, i had a i had a telephonic conversation with her and i kind of just told her what what is there in my head what kind of what kind of uh, thought i have in my head regarding the song but of course you know she's such a fabulous writer she just took it to another level and uh, it's very difficult to write like uh, like i always tell sam that you know i i want you to keep my phrasing as is whatever you are writing don't kind of you know change my my melodic structure or don't change my melodic phrasing same thing i told to jennifer and uh, she just nailed it and she kind of fit the words so nicely for the song that it kind of fit perfectly through the verse through the choruses and uh, and yeah and then i had already decided that no matter what this song is going to be sung by samantha so i had already made my mind and i well i tried other singers also just to give it a shot but it was not what samantha brought and i i just called her and i said you know what i i got this melody i'm going to send it to you see what you feel and she called me and she said when you want to do it let's book a studio and let's 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 do it mm. and i was like i said yeah i said she said yeah sure just give me one or two days and i'll i'm going to nail the song and trust me when we met in the studio samantha has taken this song to another level like like i did have to i, I did have to say anything the minute she 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 got onto the mic it was like take over take over take over takes and you know like i i was like there 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 were so many options of different takes and different ideas and stuff like that i said sam you know what don't make me confused <laughs> i want you to sit and you i want you to decide which take you want to go in for i think that it's got such a lovely groove it's got this very uh, it's not a long song it's just got you know the amount you need but you leave your i think the audience wanting for more which is a really cool thing um i i mean i already in fact i i want to tell tabi i have some ideas for if we decide to do another thing to the song <laughs> but we said we'll go with this one samantha maybe if you want to sing a couple of lines your favorite part of the song if you if you don't mind that is i can feel you i can feel you la 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 i can feel you i can feel you Ooh. now i can feel you i can feel you Ooh, I can feel your love. Let's speak about the video. Yeah, well, uh, again, video is. Uh, I I I always wanted to do uh, something different. You know, normally, normally, uh, I, I'm a, it, it. I don't want to say different, different, but it's just not the whole studio setup where you know we are kind of jamming. It's not that kind of thing. So it's more like how the song actually happened. So you know, I uh, I wrote down the melody. I called the lyricist. I called Sam. That's how we met. Then we went to the studio. So it's like a journey which we have shown in the video also. Thank you so much for taking time out to speak with us and thank you for having us. us. Thank you. It absolutely. Really thank you for having us. We've had a great hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Me too. Me too. And it's not yet over because I'm sure people also had a great time listening to you. So if you have a short message for everybody listening, it would be awesome. I think you have to just keep doing what you do and keep at it, you know, um because uh finally when you're putting out and doing whatever your be, be your field of work, if you love what you do and you put your heart into it. Just listen to your heart and uh, yeah, whatever we're putting out is uh, straight from our heart and uh, I I always believe that you know, you need to you need to first uh, satisfy yourself in terms of whatever creativity you're doing and if you think that this is the best you have done and if you feel that you know this is uh this is my heart which 
like put it in it is definitely going to work and is definitely going to uh, liked by people and uh, so i just feel that you know you just need to do what you really want to do in life and i tell to everybody 93.5 red fm it's, it's rocking, rocking.